playing our uh, last, yeah, last uh, match of this uh, this league season. It's against VR Smith. Um, I I, don't know, I think I'm like in okay position if I don't really blow it, which unfortunately uh, is sounding non-trivial. Um, by reason of, um, there are like, there, there's kind of an event in the last week that was kind of supposed to end on Thursday. And right now it's Sunday and it actually ended about 30 minutes ago. Um, so I virtually have not seen Dominion in the last one and a half weeks. Um, Anyways, uh, this is a, this is a Dominion board. Um, it looks kind of standardish. I don't think there's like anything that, uh, really, really fuels one way or the other. Um, you have trashing and counterfeit and count. Uh, count is the only estate trashing, which means although count is kind of, eh, we're probably going to get it, especially since, uh, I think you can probably run a kind of um, action-focused deck. Uh, Captain looks kind of mediocre. It'll really only play well. It does only play Vassal, which I actually kind of expect to run here. Um, I think we're going to open Vassal Exploration. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that's targeting, whether it's going to target a counterfeit or a count, but uh, that's, that's how I'm going to start um, going after Econ. Um, at some point we'll want like stowaway, stowaway courtier does stuff. Uh, city quarter is the main draw, um, but it also might be a little bit, I don't know, unnecessary. Um, I want to say, uh, just because like, you're kind of running more of this uh, coin coin stuff, although I guess at some point you probably want to convert that into like courtier gold counterfeit, uh, which is also going to, if, if you do go that route, it's going to um, like put more emphasis on stowaway. Um, I'm probably going to pick up a stowaway here. Mohan's going after Anvil, which I guess the idea is that you get to pick up a lot of this stuff, um, which is which is fine. Just I don't know. I'm gonna grab Stowaway. I I like I like. I don't think you need to be doing that so much. I guess. Uh, or I I question I question the value maybe a little bit. I'm not sure. Um, although I guess probably you hit five. Either way, so um, so now I have the debate between count and counterfeit. Um, I'm going to go after the count. Actually, um, I think getting the estates trashed is is important. Um, this will be counterfeit for me as as I guess a follow up. Um, I collided all three things down here, which is not amazing uh, by any stretch. Um, but mm. these things, these things happen. Um, so here, I'm actually going to play Vassal. Uh, it does find the stowaway. That's kind of nice. Um, I mean, we should probably trash, right? I guess I could also go after like a hunting lodge right now. Uh, just considering. Um, it's fine. I guess count actually works kind of nice with exploration. That's fine. Um, I guess just because I didn't buy anything, I don't know if that's actually a good thing. Uh, but it's it's what happened, so I guess that's what we're that's what we're dealing with. Um, 
I have eight. I kind of want to take a hunting lodge now. Uh, maybe like hunting lodge stowaway is fine. I guess you're probably going to get to play a stowaway off that, but I'm not like too enthralled with having so many of those. Um, I don't actually know if I need the stowaway. I could po probably pull another vassal in here. Like I have the stowaway right here, but eh. Let's just buy it. I don't know. I feel like I'm playing this pretty unclean. Um, which, I mean, as I say, I haven't, I haven't seen Dominion in so long. I'm surprised at so many stowaways on that side. I guess. Um, okay, vassals, vassals are starting. Here I'm gonna I'm gonna go copper trash. Uh, I don't think I want to be picking up city quarter. It seems seems unnecessary. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna play one of these and not the other. I don't think the other is doing me a whole lot, and I'm gonna grab I think another vassal. Um, I actually want to like keep the keep the duration balance sort of. Um, I guess I could buy stowaway, but I don't think I really need to be doing that. Um, at some point, I guess I will have to pick up more stuff, but like we can do like a, a what count trick where we like top pick something and then. Um, Top deck something and then vassal it. That's a that's a thing that can happen. Um, I'm certainly thinner, which is nice. Uh, so like maybe I do that right here. I don't really need to. Well, we'll top deck stowaway vassal it. And then this can be like courtier city quarter, right? Um, I think I'm actually in pretty okay shape. Uh, despite still not really having a clue mentally what's going on. <laughs> I give a lot of stowaways, but... You know? Yeah, that's the one thing I'm actually more scared of is that you get a better payload ramp from the anvil gaining vassals. That seems possible, plausible that, that that could be a thing that happens. Um, like I'm not, I'm not that scared of just draw because things should be drawn fine. Um, hmm. What is that? That's like count stowaway. So I could play a vassal right now. That seems fun. Bonus points if it's the count. Um, <laughs> keep. <laughs> um, so this could be like buy coins gold. That seems pretty okay. Um, and then go something like quarter or city quarter again. Mm -hmm. I don't think I really have room to add another vassal, so I could add captain, right? Like, like if we don't think vassals are actually going to run, I don't really want to give you the stowaway acceleration. But you have you have so many out right now. I don't know that it does a whole lot. Um, let me just push that through again. I guess you're getting gold first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
What did I produce last turn? Like 16? Maybe we're doing about the same. As I say, the main thing I guess I'm worried about is the payload ramp and like ability to pile with Anvil. Um, this turn I probably want to pull like another counterfeit, another, I could actually um, strongly consider um, Uh, that's a courtier. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, I probably don't need a fourth buy, so this can just be action, coin, gold. Yeah, that's, that's funny. Uh, I guess we'll play the city quarter. I was thinking I was gonna I was gonna do more, but then it turns out I can't actually draw that. I coin gold, play stowaway. Um, I'm theoretically a little bit unstable. Um, I guess. Uh, just from a perspective of like start a turn draw, but I think we should be okay. Um, I think we said I wanted another counterfeit. Maybe a counterfeit courtier city quarter. Um, as I say, I'm I'm a little bit light on uh mid turn draw, but I'll try to figure out how to live through it. Um, like like it's hard for me to gain and gain and play golds. Is, is I guess what I'm what I'm trying to talk about. At some point, I do think I want to pick up Anvil uh, just to give gain potential. Although at this point, I'm out of copper, so it's kind of a little bit less appealing that way. I guess the other thing I'd probably have going for me is that count can be a duchy gain rather than this plus three coins I've been doing with it. I don't think we're close on piles. No. No, no, like if you do another set stowaway courtier city quarter, we might actually be somewhat close. I think I do want to start taking green cards this turn, just maybe a little bit defensively. Or, or maybe offensively. Um, I guess maybe more so. Right, there's a lot of gold, but I mean, you have the support for it in the stowaways. That's that's, I guess, what I'm. That's that's what I'm missing by not having the stowaways is is we don't have you know, that that ability. Um, okay, green green is coming. Two counterfeits. Well, it seems like it's going after piles next turn. Uh, I'm not sure which ones, but 
some piles. Um, all right, let's play these courtiers. It's that last card, state. I could draw it. Let's go ahead and draw it. Um, well, I think this turn I probably want like counterfeit province and some stuff. Uh, action coin gold. It's a little bit scary not having another city quarter. Um, get camel one of the vassals. I guess I only get to support like one off the count play. Buy coin gold. Buy coin gold. I mean, I can draw all of those. I don't know if it's a good idea, but we're going to do it. Oh, I can't draw all of them. I'm stupid. I don't really want to leave the gold on top, do I? Duchy. Yeah. We'll see. Um, so you can almost certainly quad. I don't know. Can you take... Yeah. You can probably actually take five provinces. I guess the question is, can I beat that? We'll find out. Potentially the hard way. Um, these are worth four right now. That can that can be that can be fixed. Um I really feel like I need to put another city quarter, or two even. I might go like fairgrounds double city quarter here. Although that I think leaves some pileout vulnerability. And I think I have pileout vulnerability no matter what. To some extent. Um, given my turn, I think, I think you can take five provinces, so we'll, we'll leave that. The question is, is like, can I, can I take another city quarter right here? I think the answer is yes. Well, that'd be like eight plus... Sixteen. You could do a state. We'd probably have to leave the city quarter. We could add like a hunting lodge instead. Or another count. None of them do me a whole lot. Um, another counterfeit is also a possibility, although I don't really need that to hit like giant numbers. I think a city quarter might leave me vulnerable to like estates plus a duchy plus two city quarters though. I almost certainly would. I might already be vulnerable to that, so maybe I should just add another fairgrounds. Let's do it that way. And we'll, we'll see. And that turnover there could be working a bit better than it is. Um, I mean, that's kind of what I expect to happen over here too, though, so. Uh, the 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 city quarter draw is just not quite as amazing when you're when you're gold loaded. Um, basically, I just ha I mean I I had to survive this turn somehow though. 
I, I have one extra gold than I should have. That was that was a bad move doing the doing the camel. Um, one of these golds is not really necessary to have right here. It'll give me more payload this turn, but that's not really a that's not really a concern. I mean, we're already hitting what forty. So. I don't know. We'll see. You might not have found your last city quarter also. That would have been not not the most fortunate thing ever to happen. I'm I'm I think I'm actually pretty lucky to be seeing city quarters right now. My my deck is at this point just loaded with, with bad stuff. Um, and you know, seven cards to find one of seven out of what twenty twenty five cards to find one city quarter is not not the most probable thing, especially not with like a sort of reasonable number of actions. It's not actually that reasonable a number of actions. Um, I don't know. We'll see. There's a good possibility that I think there's like some kind of pile thing that can happen here. Uh, whether it's like a states plus province or a states province city quarter or, or what exactly. Um, I just, I, I mean, I, I missed last turn just on the one gold. I just completely forgot it was, it was there when I was, when I was doing my city quarter plays. Um, I absolutely should not have top decked it. I probably shouldn't have even gotten it. I probably should have just left it in exile, actually. That would have been an okay move. But again, I think I'm, I'm probably not going to end up drawing this turn. Um, it, it would take some fairly large amount of luck to do that. Um, I'll just I'll just say. Which I mean, you know, it can it can happen, but. I'm pretty sure I'd die if I take two city quarters over the fairgrounds. Though, you know, city quarters is my only way to produce draw, so it was either take that or, or not. Because that would have been like, what, eight? Maybe you don't have the buys for three counterfeits. No, I think I might have miscounted. No, there's also the anvil in there, so like three counterfeits and anvil could have piled the states. Um, you would have had three, eight, eight buys plus two games. Eh, I could have taken the city quarter. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, I, I could have taken the city quarter and I should have. I just, I assumed that there was a bit more there than there was.
Now, can you do vassals? No, no. Ooh, that is probably something that I should. No, I can't. Can't because I need the courtiers to hit something. I mean, we saw last turn that with a full turn I can take five provinces, so I don't know what this is dancing around. I mean, I won't have a full turn, probably, but. Yeah. Wow, look at me. <sighs> this is pretty incredible. Um. Okay, well, I mean, I guess I just max money. Do I max money? I mean, I have five by, but I just don't know how much money this is. So this is 13, uh, 20 something. I'm take a duchy. Thirteen plus twelve is shoot uh 25 26 27 28 29 okay i think if i uh take three coins i can quad province which might be my best bet um Let's also quick count uh, distinct cards. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I don't think I can. I don't think I can uh, reasonably add um, enough. Now let's see. One, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Um, so potentially I just quad province. Uh, I don't know what kind of position that puts me in, but. I think it might be, I think it might be the move. Um, I don't think I can add anything that'll really, that'll really make a difference on the uh, uniques front. Now, yeah. chances are you succeed and I dud, but we can we can pretend that's not going to happen. Like if you get a if you get a full turn, you're you're fine, and I'm not. I'm a little bit well. I mean, you could uh, bottom deck city quarters is is the thing that can happen that will mess stuff up. But my guess is that you can get there pretty easily from here. I mean, I had a really unlikely draw to win last turn. It was a draw to win, but it was it was virtually impossible. Uh, so I'm not really going to consider that. I, I really should have taken another city quarter over the one fairgrounds. Um, 
that's that's my one primary regret is I just didn't count the gains properly. I think I could have done that. So yeah, probably probably don't probably don't do that. I guess two regrets. I, I could have taken the city quarter now, so I didn't need to leave the gold on top. I'm not really seeing a way where you don't get there, but I'll let it play out anyways. I don't. I, I don't really regret not having as many stowaways. Like I, I did. I did okay on on drawing and whatnot. Um, another one would have been really useful last year, and I guess I could react the one, but I don't know how that would have actually worked out. Uh, my assumption is definitely that you're there. Um, and if you're not there, well, then you're, then you're really messed up for next turn. <laughs> State uh, silver, okay. I guess you're already pretty close on those. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I thought I did okay. I think uh, having more stowaway would have done some amount of good. Um, I don't think I needed like eight, but... We are on to something else that features uh, Throne Room Bridge, and it also features Sentinel. So uh, there's Drawing Cursed Village. We're going to open Sentinel something. Maybe Silos? Does that make any... No, that makes no sense at all, right? Because you do want to trash estates. Now, maybe it still makes sense. Yeah, I think it, I think it should be Sentinel silos. Um, you don't. I mean, it it kind of prevents you from trashing estates, but you you so badly want to see. Oh well, this is interesting. Do I discard all of them? Huh. I could discard like three or something or four. I mean, it triggers an okay shuffle, right? It, it clears out two coppers, which is not perfect, but it does trigger an okay shuffle. Um, hmm. And I mean, otherwise I'm just going to see coppers with a sentinel next turn, right? My other option is, like, take an overlord? Um... That actually might be a better move. Huh. I mean, the theory is I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing the estates with Sentinel anyways, so that's where I might want to discard these out. Um, on the other hand, you know, I'm not seeing the, I'm not seeing them with Sentinel anyways, so, uh, if I pick up, if I pick up like an overlord or pick up a cursed village here, we're gonna go after the overlord right now. Um, and I guess I'm not gonna discard any coppers because I do actually get to trash an estate. This seems like an okay theory. Might trickster right now. 
Um, what do I buy if I trickster? Yeah, this might actually want to be just be bridge. Or Corsair. No, I don't really want to. I don't really want to move that over. If I trickster, I could buy another Overlord. It's not the most amazing. No, I should. I should just. I should discard. Right. It's insane not to discard. Yeah, I could trickster and buy another overlord. I'm actually really tempted by that. Enchantress. Not the worst idea ever. Although, given that Cursed Village is the main. Alright, here we definitely discard. I mean, this is all the estates, so... Whatever. Um, throne. Well, it might actually be Cursed Village. You can go at Cursed Village Corsair. I'm not thrilled about Corsair, but. I guess we can go Throne. Throne, Overlord, Throne. So he's Sentinel twice. I mean, that clears so much copper, which is not actually a good thing. Although, really, I only need to, you know, hmm. If I go Corsair here, what am I actually doing next turn? An intriguing question. If I go Bridge here. Just... Oh gosh. Um, hmm. Well, I could throw a sentinel. Right. Throne, sentinel, um. Throne, sentinel, bridge? It doesn't actually buy me anything, does it? I guess I can get a silver. It doesn't seem terrible. Actually, it seems pretty bad, but. Maybe not. I'd also go Throne Sentinel Trickster. Uh, that seems like an okay option to me, also. I was about to say what the heck and then I and then I realized that that no I'm actually I'm actually okay. <laughs> I guess I want to discard all four because it then top decks them for next turn. Um Like like the 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 things that I play is is Throne Bridge. Um, I 
You're still carrying a state curse. Which, I mean, sure, you got the curse out, that's fine. So this is just going to be thrown bridge, play, play, bridge. Right, and now I can kind of go wild. Um, by which I mean, I think, just by thrown bridge. <laughs> that's, that's my definition of wild, apparently. Um, Do I want any of this stuff? I could take another Sentinel. I don't think it's good. I could take a Haven. Free Havens. I mean, I can set aside Copper. Right. Maybe that's an okay function. It can also just be a uh, um, ox. Like here, I guess we're going to Throne Sentinel. Box. Just uh, Village. Um. Do I set aside anything? No, I just want Throne Bridge. Haven? 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 Whoa, this is a weird hand. I wonder if I can definitively win in like two turns. I'm not sure. It seems plausible. Um, what is that? That's like bridge something. Bridge overlord. So I could set aside copper here and just go like thrown through and bridge bridge. Uh, this can go, um, cursed village. Throne. Did that actually get me anything? No. Okay. Uh, throne. Should I do that? I think I want to buy the Cursed Village first. Overlord. I mean, I think I can afford to put the Overlord into the deck. I should have be able to play enough bridges. I think. Um. I mean, I, I guess the <laughs> the question is: Is should this be a bridge or should this be an Overlord? 
think I want it to be an overlord. Like if I can if I can play eight bridges, I just win right on the spot. So what does the best job of making me able to do that? Probably overlord. Just remembering that one of the overlords probably has to, or I have to play overlord with bridge twice. Um, I don't think you're piling either through in a bridge. Pretty sure. Maybe it could have happened. Maybe with a little bit better draw, you could have piled bridge. That would have put me in a kind of awkward spot. Maybe not really. That's unfortunate. That's two bridge plays. Um, Uh, I guess this can just be thrown bridge for the last two. Whee. Um <laughs> I mean I had the five coppers, that was amazing. <laughs> Actually not. I'm not I'm not so convinced that there was anything more to it than that. Um but I I had them, so that was that was good. Uh what does this have? This has uh remake trail. I could do something funky here. Like like I open trail and then I get astrologers um done right away. Uh here I'm gonna say stowaway actually looks really important. <laughs> Um, the draw is kind of rough. Uh, the village is actually, I want to say Trail is an okay village, but it's actually a little bit rough also. Um, and you can do like Rope Trail at the start of turn. Well, Trail, trail, trail seems important. Um, I'm going to open Remake Stowaway, Remake Importer. I think the, I think the remake is clear. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out, like, can, can you do something with, um, can you do something funky with a trail open with astrologers? Like, if I open trail, if I draw a copper, I don't know that it's that amazing. Um, but if I draw an estate, it's pretty okay, right? Uh... But I guess inevitably I'm just kind of tempted to take Remake. I mean, we can actually do like Remake, Stowaway. Yeah, okay. And then we can top deck like a whole bunch of stuff with Astrologers. And okay, yeah, this, this sounds, this sounds better. Um, remake, Stowaway. We can top deck Remake, State of State, Stowaway. And then go from there. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I figured it out. <laughs> I do have a five, which seems not amazing. Um, I mean, replace isn't bad, right? Not bad at all. Uh, yeah, I think I just want stowaways. I don't know how I'm going to play all of them. I mean, they can remake into trail later, but... This will be replace.
Uh, do we want something on top? Yeah, I mean, I want the I want the replace on top, right? We'll go stowaway into trail or something like that. Uh, probably just buy trail. Let's see, last card there is... Stowaway? I don't know if I like, need to sustain them or anything. I don't think so. Trails are just more important. I already burned all my favors, that's funny. I guess I can actually get two trails. Huh? I wonder if that's better. Like, like how valuable is stowaway anyways? Maybe not that, maybe not that valuable if everything's trying to come from trail. Um, this could also go to like importer. I'm not sure what the importer actually does me. And I kind of want to, I kind of want to have the stowaway going in. Um, yeah. I don't know if that was like known. It might have been. Yeah, pickaxe. That's reasonable. I'm actually surprised at the second trail trash. Um, just because I think, like, replacing trail to trail is potentially better. And then remake coppers. Now we'll have options. I think I want another replace. Um, do I play this? Probably. It's better just to have all the trail stuff available, I think. I think, I think. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to actually start and place trail into trail. And then figure it out from there. And I can decide whether, like, I want to do remake, which I think the answer is yes, and do at least one of those. Um, probably another replace is useful, and maybe a first mate is useful. And also kind of like another remake, actually. That's probably my buy. So maybe clearing a copper is the best move here. Do another replace. Buy remake. Buy trail. We can get. I'm a little bit scared that you can empty trails, but let's just ignore that possibility. Yeah. Now yeah, it's not so bad. I can replace the stowaway probably. Or we'll just end up playing it. Um. 
uh, depending on your other games. That. Oh, I did get to buy Trail. Um, maybe I reacted. Maybe I do a stowaway thing. No, let's, let's not be. Let's not be silly. I got I got five trails, so it really, really is not going to die that way. I think there's there's plenty of other ways that I can die here, but I'm not gonna, I'm not going to die for lack of trail. That's that's my commitment. Somehow you have a lot more copper out. Feels like actually that hand must be mostly copper. Must be almost all copper. Gaining loot, hammer. That is just about the best thing you could have gotten. In fact, it's just straight out of the best thing you could have gotten. Um, I guess the reason you're going after the you're going after the pickaxe stuff is because there's this remake loot thing that happens eventually that we probably want to we probably want to do a little bit of partaking in. Um, Um, hmm. Yeah, this isn't really ideal. Uh, I might be immediately replacing this remake. I suppose I could do another, uh... I really don't want pickaxe. I'm trying to imagine this, this world where, um, the game ends on, like, estates and stowaways. I'm kind of liking that world a bit better. I think I'm actually going to take a replace. Whoops. Gosh. I suck at this so much. Uh, I was really not trying to trash tree things. We'll do this into first mate. Um, the village is getting awkward, um, but that's, that's alright. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this. Uh, first mate, first mate does not work. It, it really, it really doesn't. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to do this in a, um, I'm gonna try to do this in a fashion. Uh, I'm gonna pick up another first mate. I'm gonna go, I think, like this. Um, I only have the one remake, but I think it's, you well, know, it might not actually be that clear that I want to. I think we're actually going to do this without the first mate help. Um, go to like Dutchy. I actually shouldn't have first mated that. I should have ended up first mating the stowaway. Who's gonna get more first mates? What possibly could go wrong? Uh, another remake? Rope? I'm gonna go ahead and get another remake. I can also get like an estate. Um, or a stowaway. Or 
or a ducat. Or a remake. Let's try this. My piles are low. Um, maybe you can win. I think I might have blown it. Like you just go after the first mates, and then then what? Probably can get like a duchy. The three stowaways doesn't seem out of the question with the hammer. I think I went a little bit too aggressive there. I probably could have gone like um, gotten more replaced rather than more first mate. I was just like maniacal pile lowering that is going to kill me. Um, Cause like you have the buys, right? Hammer, duck it, whatever. Eh, lower too much. This happens. Yeah. Stupid hammer. Yeah, I screwed that one up. Uh, too many first mates the last turn. I think I was, I think I was doing more the right thing. I just, I just blew it. <laughs> Which, I mean, that's, this is, this is, this is kind of like when I, when I said, you know, things are, things are not then the very dominion-y. That's, that's, that's an example right there. Um, this has apprentice rats, uh, and I think we're not going to open either. I think we're going to open pageant bobble. Ah. <sighs> uh. <laughs> Um, I mean, you gotta, you gotta do the apprentice rats thing, right? Like, I don't, I don't think maroon makes sense. Go rats bobble. I'm gonna go pageant bobble. Oh. We're gonna we're gonna do it. I mean, I think you want to work with rats, so you gotta work with rats. This will be apprentice me. This will be rats. Uh, we're actually going to play it Let's straight up. Coin favor. City state, trash state. Like, I'm just going to absorb curses because heck. Um, grab caravan guards. Maybe bo more bobble is better. Uh, at some point, I guess I need like messenger. Maybe like messenger caravan guard here. I don't really want to do it uh, into this shuffle, but I no. I guess we don't actually need the plus buy from that. We could also take like a maroon. Um, just to try to get a bit more get a bit more trashing going. I did not manage to find a rat, so that's pretty annoying. Uh, I should be able to uh, top deck apprentice here, though. Yeah. That's bad. Well, the idea is going to be to top deck apprentice, but that doesn't seem to be happening anymore. Yeah. 
I guess like a top deck bobble, like go coin or favorite, favorite top deck, top deck a bobble. I need another apprentice. It's kind of badly. I mean, I'm just, I don't. I don't think I want to risk. I don't think I want to risk it here. Coin top deck. Just goes on top. There we go. Now we should. We should roll a bit better. I don't want to play as a terminal. I guess we eventually do want to do sea witches. I could also do like hirelings. Um, we have the uh, city state, which works out kind of admirably on that front. That's not all my rats, right? Um, how much copper do I want to eat? Not a ton. Um, I, I got to get like silver in the deck somehow. I think I want to go like hireling silver right here, which requires nine coins, which is exactly what I have. So that's it on that front. Um, favor coin, coin buy, hireling, put that out there, buy bobble, bobble over silver. Sure, why not? Well, there's a good reason why not. Um, it doesn't produce as much coins. Well, maybe go silver instead. Bobble. Not seeing apprentice, which is bad. Um, I'm not really willing to eat any more, although this is all my rats, which is not good. So we're going to do it. Favorite coin, silver. Hope I don't die. I mean, I have two apprentices here, so we may be looking at having to apprentice this caravan guard just to like be mildly conservative about things. That said, I'm totally playing it. Or apprenticing a bobble. We don't draw our rats off the top. Um, okay, I, I did draw rats off the top, so that was that was favorable. Um, now what? I guess I want like pilgrimage something. I'll go like pilgrimage silver. Um, I guess pilgrimage hireling would be the, would be the other option. I mean, coin buy on both of these. Coin pilgrimage hireling, really? I mean, I want to get a gold in. I mean, I mean, I need to get gold in. That's that's not a want. That's a that's a this has to happen. Um, I'm gonna like coin favor here. I don't think it does me much to, to buy there. Oh gosh. <laughs> Yeah, we'll still be able to buy pilgrimage, right? I don't know what I'll gain, but we'll still do it. I am kind of happy to keep seeing these curses. Like they do feed my feed my draw somewhat. Um, I don't really know where this game's going. I'm a little bit overratted, probably. Uh, yeah, I'm 
almost certainly overrouted, probably. <laughs> Let me take another bobble. Well, anyways, we'll play one rat. Oh, that is amazing. Look at look at this stunning, stunning luck. Um, do I eat more copper? I'm gonna have apprentice on top right now. I think we're just gonna cut it right now and be like um, favor coin, coin by favor coin. Pilgrimage, uh, we want a hireling, we want a gold, and probably I could use another apprentice just to make sure, make sure things go okay. Um, and yeah, picking up another gold right here seems fine. Right. I could take a messenger also, play it immediately. I think that's actually better than gold. I mean, I feel okay about this game. Um, just because I feel like I'm playing the, the better deck, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, let's React, and I'm getting fed draw, which is also really nice. <laughs> gotta, gotta admit. So this will be like pilgrimage. I don't know what. Um, for me, might even be province already. No. 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 Um. So let's see. I guess we're gonna need at least one that's coined by. Uh, I think I like pilgrimage, province, caravan guard. That seems like an okay idea. Um. In favor. I'm not doing this working with the village, but I think that's okay. Uh, I kind of also wanted to top deck an apprentice, right? Mm -hmm. Oh well. I drew an apprentice. That's good. I mean, I'm theoretically a little bit unstable on the draw, but eh, we'll figure it out. I can always apprentice an apprentice, right? Whoa, that is a lot more money than I thought that deck had. I don't know how sustainable it is, but it is a lot more money than I thought it had. I'm still carrying enough rats that, I mean, I'm going to be surprised not to draw one. I'm, I'm almost certainly not going to, but I will be surprised by it. This feels, this feels pretty okay right now. Um, the thing I may be a little bit lacking in is, like, end game other than provinces. Uh, but, you know... <laughs> But 
what are we what are we gonna do? Two bottles over there. Maybe go like Ireland, played Ireland province. Let's see. I mean, I don't think you're really in position to be to be doubling. Maybe you are fine with that. I imagine you might want another pilgrimage. Yeah. Those by sure look familiar. All right, I guess we're I guess we're trashing a silver. That stinks. That's that's what the deck did. No. Okay. Um. So let's go. Coin by. Coin top deck coin favor. I'm buying province uh what is it? Pilgrimage. Yeah. So province pilgrimage is gonna be gold hireling apprentice. Gold does not need to be top decked. Hireling needs to be city stated, and apprentice doesn't need to be top decked. Hopefully, we can start putting together some some better turns here. Sea witches do give some nice consistency. They could have considered considered some. On the other hand, like as I say, they they do give they do give me draw, so you know it's a it's a trade off. Um, the thing that would be really irritating here is if you double provinced. I guess I mean then I'd be taking what three duchies. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Um, I can't double, but I could go like province duchy something. Um, squeezing the one silver hurt a lot. Losing losing the silver last turn. I wonder if that could have been a no, I don't think it could have reasonably been a bobble trash instead. Um, Well, you know, you, you do hit 16, it's just not like... It's just not an amazing looking 16. I mean, it's a, it's a 16 with help. Um, and I mean, I think you're gonna, I think you're gonna be in pilgrimage instead of double provincing. Econ boost. Um, I probably need to do some of that myself. 
uh, this turn. So this turn's goal is like province, province duchy something. Province duchy gold, maybe. I mean, it could be a buy. I could also actually like to just pick up an extra copper, but... I could also go like silver here, or, or messenger. I've got a messenger caravan guard. Oh, messenger the last rats. Well, messenger is definitely better than silver in the stack. I could see state it. Let's do that. And pick up a uh, silver with it. I don't think you can triple. Maybe you can. I mean, you had what? You had 15, you had 16 with help, you picked up 5 more. No. Okay, we drew an apprentice. That, that was like step 1. I hope you can't triple. <laughs> No, you can. What the heck? Where did all the money come from? Did I like, did you like miss a silver last turn? I guess you must have missed a silver last turn. Well, that's embarrassing. I didn't think you could triple. Huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna be a state. Um, what's this board has? This board has encampment looking really important. Uh, I have six right now. Maybe we just take a couple. <sighs> no, I think this should be Tragic Hero. Uh, Get the plus by, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, plausibly monastery, uh, maybe like Pixie or Encampment. The tragic here also allows me to uh, delay the delay the vassal, which is nice. Um, I really hope I don't get all the shit. That would have sucked so much. <laughs> uh, more tragic hero? Surely. Because, I mean, we can just delay excess ones. And that's fine. I probably didn't need the monastery. That probably could have been a pixie or an encampment. It'll it'll make me trash a little bit faster, but I don't know if that's actually a really a great thing. It's probably okay. Um, vineyard looks problematic. I, I don't think I'm buying militia this game. So here we're going to go, like, delay... Oh, that's going to pop it. Gross. Maybe we don't go delay. Maybe we just go, like, encampment pixie or something. Or double encampment. I 
I mean, I guess I kind of want to pop one though. Yeah. I might actually run into a uh, a secondary secondary problem here of not having enough cards to pop a hero. That kind of stink. So now I'm going to definitely get militia um, because otherwise I would definitely pop this hero, which would be a, which would be a real nice thing to have happen. Um, and we, we cannot, we cannot have that nice thing happen. Um, on the other hand, I do get to keep the hero, which is delightful. Uh, I guess I could also actually draw through, pop, pop this hero, um, and then delay extra. No, I think, I think it has to be this way. Misha might beat me up a little. I'll, I'll live somehow. Oh, you got an extra action off the vassal hitting something. I don't know how likely that was. Um, I really don't want to give up the encampment as a thing. You know? I right, get the gold here. Yeah, let's do it that way. I think I hit, I think I hit five either way. I, like I had five last turn. Yeah, let's do it this way. Um, now I don't get the encampment though. Well, no, I can I can still have the encampment because I can like delay hero by encampment pixie. Camel train. Camel train with the idea of uh, getting groundskeepers. Oh, yeah. Discovered. Do that. That's amazing. Vassal hitting. Wish I could do that. I don't know how valuable having that extra draw actually is, but I'm pretending that it's that it's okay. Um, This turn, I mean, I intend to pop a hero for plunder. That's interesting. Um, do I want two plunders? Maybe. So I'm assuming that it pops. That would have sucked so much if it hadn't. Um, I don't have anything delayed. I'm going to need more hero uh, now. Um, this might be like hero, hero, pixie. Or I could even start up the groundskeepers already. How many heroes are in the trash? Three. And there's seven gone. Which means we each have two. Um, I'm gonna still go here, here, Pixie. 
There's nothing, there's nothing stopping that. I just don't know if getting a camel train's not better. Like, I, I theoretically have a little bit of extra terminal space. I don't think the piles are in a, I don't think the piles are in a spot. Let's trash all of those. Oh no! What is this? Well, that's bad. <sighs> I guess the same thing happened to you, but it seems so dreadfully unnecessary on my end. Um, well, we'll be de we'll delay the uh, encampment. I think. I guess we could also delay a th tragic hero. Delay tragic hero by tragic hero. Seems okay. Might actually be pretty close to a finish. Maybe I want to delay the encampment instead, given that. Um, like, if I delay encampment, do tragic here, we might actually be able to pile, like, camel trains plunders. That's actually a little bit of a concern, right? Um, that you could do that instead and potentially win. Uh, I mean, produce 18 coins? I'm skeptical, but maybe this needs to be a duchy. Let me think about this one a little bit more. I might want to do the encampment instead. Um, just because I do want to pop heroes. Do you produce 15 coins? I don't know if you can. But I'm going to buy a duchy. Because <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared that you could, especially with two gold sitting in exile. I can't even set this aside. This looks like a fail turn. Um, hmm. I'm going to say that I'm capable of winning this next turn. Um, I think. Be good. We'll get, we'll get like two wins, which really feels like an accomplishment. Last, last game I just so blew. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I, I didn't count what, how much money you had properly, and that was, that was it. Um, I mean, I think I was running a better deck and just failed. <laughs> No, no militia play. Am I seriously not gonna find a hero? Okay, I found a hero. Um. So I don't know if there's enough buys, right? Um. Let's do this and empty the golds out. Uh, so I don't think there's enough buys here. Because I'm only going to be able to produce four of them. Right. Probably I don't take that encampment. Um, 
three buys can be like delay groundskeeper province. It's bringing groundskeepers pretty low, but I'm also not thrilled with not having another tragic hero because like next turn I'm only looking at two buys. That's if everything goes right. I could get my I could get my plus buy source cut off. But I'll take one. Um, but I also I can't afford to play anything. I don't think I can afford to not delay. I guess we could also go like grounds keeper delay this and buy the tragic hero. Um, does that leave me like vulnerable to pile out? Probably not, uh, considering you're only carrying one encampment. I mean, you can. I think I think you're I think you're limited enough that, that doesn't it's not a not a thing. I really hope I get militia. I don't like losing tragic heroes, but what can you do? Yeah, ticked about the last game. You got you got to know how much your opponent could do, and I I just I I thought it was only twenty one, and it was twenty four. So there was a there was a there was a hidden gold there or something. Um, maybe with a bit more planning. Am I really dudding like this? Wow. Okay. Um, I'm gonna hold the hero, I guess. What do I camel train? I could actually probably pick up more groundskeeper. What do you set aside hero? Um, there's a limited number of heroes left, like just this one. Uh, so I could actually pick up like groundskeeper and provinces. Which seems okay. Groundskeeper and a province. This is the this is the terminology. I might have a little bit too much gold that I can't such that I can't actually really um, do the groundskeepers properly. You don't have any buy left, um, so this is really your last opportunity to to multi buy green. And also, you shouldn't have much draw left. So, you do have two camel trains, um, but that can't empty anything. Uh, I guess the next thing is like if you get pixies, uh, things can happen. 
I'm actually pretty scared here of um of my turn because like I'm about to see all of my village uh which means I'm pretty prone to failure yeah like this um you don't have any buy left but you do have a camel train uh you don't have anything delayed I don't really want to take him. Well, I can't take out that groundskeeper, no way. Um, so maybe I just exile a pixie and buy province. That seems like probably the way to go. Um, I can't pop this hero this turn, which is actually a great thing. How do you do that? Seriously, the vassal hits like every time. Wow. Seriously? I mean, I can't, I can't beat that crap. <laughs> I can't beat that. That's just that's just absurd. Like <laughs> that's unreal. Oh man. Now I might not get my requisite two wins here. Jeez. That was that was insane. Like, <sighs> all right, what do we have here? Can't beat that. Can't beat that. That's that's just so unbelievable. All right. Um, you open gear. I'm gonna open Forager Groom, I think. Uh, I don't think it should be gear. Like, I think there's, I think there's value in trashing down, and then eventually you can run, like, Throne, Throne Room, uh, Harbor Village, whatever. I guess with the Necropolis, it's a little bit more tempting to take the two terminals. Um, but I, I really, really don't know about gear. We can go either way on it. Um, I guess with the gear, what happens is the target next shuffle is like, uh, groom for throw and forager or something. I think that makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, whereas forager, it's like you want to trash a card. Um, you still can target like six, which is not actually good. Okay, I'm I'm convinced. So, um, okay, they properly collide. Um, uh, we see four. Um, I want like thrown forger this shuffle. I don't think I want to put another gear in, given that I've seen one here. I don't. Or I don't need to put another gear in. Um, so this could either be a, another groom, which I think it will be, and then we're going to take throne forager. I think, I think trash is, I think trash is an appropriate thing to be doing. So, you know, that's, that's why I'm buying Forager. Obviously you could just like see everything you want to see turn five and be able to just like go off, but, you know, some of us, some of us aren't, aren't Blessed. Um, and put throne in here. I'm about to shuffle, which is good. 
Uh, I guess I want to play Necropolis. Do I actually? Not really. Um, this could be another throne room. Probably should be. We get to throne groom here, which can pick up like groom throne or groom throne gear. Not sure exactly. I'm hoping a little bit of trashing comes through. Well, it seems plausible that it will. There's also just like get more grooms, that option. So maybe we put throne gear into the shuffle. Throne groom into the shuffle, rather. I don't think I need to be putting more gear in. Like, the, the draw doesn't do a whole lot. Um, really, how many throne rooms do I have? Well, apparently this many. Um, this should probably be something else that is an action card. I might buy Dutchie. I don't know if it can be, I don't know if it can be Groom. Although I'm kind of convinced that if it can't be Groom, I'm already lost. Uh, I think I like Improve. I don't want to save that. I think this is gear. I don't know if Dutchie actually like does me anything is the, is the problem. Well, it makes it so you can't go groom pile and like just easily get the estates. I guess. Dutchie. That'll come back to bite me so hard. Okay, it didn't. That's good. I'm also going to be, I think, happy with the Forger giving a buy. Um, I end up being happy with the Forger giving a buy. We'll see. Like, if I try to pile gear estate here, that sounds plausible. I have six groom plays. Yeah, maybe it's less less likely than I thought. Up to six groom plays. One forager. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to. Well, two two forager plays. I'm I'm at like seven games or or nine nine games nine games. Maybe. That she has been gained. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're going after Groom Gear. Uh, no question there. Uh, I mean, I have the lead. Yeah. Huh. Well, might not get there. I 
gonna set anything aside yet. I think this is actually all my thrones, which is problematic. Um, I guess I just have to like go completely empty estate. Uh, when I go copper necropolis, can I buy province? Yeah, I can. Um, that is clearly the thing to do, right? Yeah. All right, my fear right now is that, like, I total totally fail on draw, which is so possible. Um, the good news is that uh, unless you manage to like throw in and improve, I think I'm fine on the points front. Um, which it does seem outwardly possible that you manage to throw in and improve. Uh, okay, it definitely seems possible that you'll be able to throw in and improve. Yeah, we'll see. And then there's, of course, the question of what happens with my turn. You know, I just put, what, six estates in? Six estates, no horses. Like, this is, this is not, this is not a pretty shuffle at all. Um, we do have a lot of resources to get through it sitting right here, but, um, it, it's, it's kind of unlikely to work out. Uh, so plausibly you'll get another turn. Um, I don't even know if the province was necessary. Like, what if I go to state gear instead? Eh, that, that could make me beat by the, the throne improve thing. Um, I think pretty clearly you should be going after the throw and improve thing, but we'll see. I also don't know how, well, actually I have the only horse left. You have a bit more gear, um, but the, the, the draw on that side is, is not, is not the most amazing either. any stretch. Improve, I think. Yeah. I mean, the problem I'm facing is probably <laughs> Part of the problem I'm facing is that you'll still have a real deck after all of this. Uh, whereas I'm just going to be trying to like limp to... Limp to get those three gears. Ooh, good start. Oh, we got a lot of stuff. Um, what I actually do here? Probably I take like a smugglers. Room for smugglers. Um, my assumption is that you just win this next turn. Um, but, you know, one of these coppers could have been a throne room. What good does smugglers actually do me? Like, are you actually going to take a duchy? Probably not. Hmm. Can you actually dud? Probably not. Do I set two coppers aside? Probably, yes. I guess I could also go, like, copper groom. Take the improve, just buy it. 
no way to make the no way to make the group non-terminal. Um, I might not have a whole lot of draw left, but I don't actually have any deck power, so that's an issue. If I'd set aside two coppers, I could be looking at getting the gears, but I mean, presumably you can score at least a little. Um, so, what I'm going to do here is I think I'm going to throw in Groom and take two Harbor Villages. all. Um, do I trash a state? Me. I'm actually surprised that's an improvement, not a gear. Yeah. Let's go ahead and throw in the gear. Oh, I don't want the room there. Oh well. Well, I'm gonna. I'm trying to figure out whether like piling is actually a realistic thing to happen, and I think the answer is actually no. So let's do that instead. Piling is probably realistic on that side, even this turn. Um, last turn was bad enough that I don't. I don't think this one can. I don't think this one can fail in a manner. The thing that might not happen is you might not find a groom properly. Uh, you have put two in the trash, so there's only there's only one left over there, which could make the getting the getting the gears a little tough. But. I think it's pretty far-fetched that it doesn't happen at some point. Um, with Harbor Village Forge Groom. Yeah, I got to Duchy. It's pretty okay. Uh, the problem is I might just lose, but, you know, <laughs> well, the problem is I will just lose, but it was, it was fun to, it was fun to pretend, yeah. Alright. I mean, you would have, you would have gotten all three. Okay, well, that was really bad. I don't, I'm pretty sure this is going to put me in uh demotion range, but... Um, let's see, the one, this, this one I'm not like, this one I'm kind of excusing because I mean I had to do what I did the last one. Um, the Apprentice Rats one, I just like lost track of what could happen over there. Um, there, there were other things for me to be doing other than like allowing that many provinces to be taken. Um, and then the last encampment one, that, that was just like such pure luck to get the ending there, um, on that side. I mean, there was nothing I could do about it, but, but it was also so like completely absurd that it happened. So, um, I'm kind of okay with that. Um, it's not great, but it happened. So see you all.